Imagine a world where you were not allowed to go to school, where you did the same job just as well as someone else, but you were paid a lot less for what you did. That doesn't sound very fair, does it? Well, you can stop imagining, because this happens every day around the world to women. But there are many, many women who have defended women's rights all through history. Today, I'm only going to be naming a few. For example, Susan B. Anthony fought for the right to vote. Along with activist Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Anthony founded the National Women's Suffrage Association in 1869. She was tireless in her efforts, giving speeches around the country to convince others to support a women's right to vote. She even took matters into her own hands in 1872 when she voted in the presidential election illegally. When Anthony died in 1906, women still did not have the right to vote. It wasn't until 1920, 14 years after her death, that the 19th Amendment was finally passed, giving all adult women the right to vote. Another activist is Eleanor Roosevelt. She was all for women's participation in business and politics. She worked with many women's groups around the nation to build their political base. In 1924, the Democratic National Committee gave Roosevelt the opportunity to chair its platform on women's issues. She solicited recommendations on all women's organizations in the country. Then, they then made her sit outside while they deliberated then just accepted none of them. Writer and editor Gloria Steinem also played a pivotal role in the women's rights movement. She helped form the National Women's Political Caucus, which worked on behalf of women's issues. Biography.com states that she spoke to the Senate in 1970, saying, quote, I have been refused service in public restaurants, ordered out of public gathering places, and turned away from apartment rentals, all for the clearly stated sole reason that I am a woman. In January 1972, Gloria launched the first issue of the feminist Miss Magazine. Miss Magazine let Gloria publicly tackle important topics, including domestic violence. Miss Magazine became the first national publication to feature the subject on its front cover in 1976. All of these women have helped in the women's rights movement. Even you can help by donating to the NOW organization. With over 500,000 contributing members, it is the largest feminist organization. The National Organization for Women was founded by Betty Friedan, Shirley Crizzle, Muriel Fox, and Polly Murray. To conclude, Everybody should be treated with respect as equals. Thank you.